How to edit still images in Splice to make a slideshow segment. You're watching TravelVid.tv's smartphone video editing tutorials. We've been asked how Splice works as a tool to make slideshows with still images. Let's get straight to it. Once you have a project open with your images already loaded into the timeline, you are ready to manipulate and change how people will view them. I have just added three photos from my phone to use as an example. By default, these photos will show for 4 seconds each and have the Ken Burns effect added to them. Ken Burns effect is when your image is moving. This is a regular image and this is the same image with Ken Burns effect in progress. To edit all the images in your timeline, you must open your project settings up at the top here. First thing on the list is to choose your background color. This is the color you will see if your image does not cover the entire screen. Then you can change the photo duration for all images in the project. I will adjust these from 4 to 3 seconds. If you'd like to add or remove the Ken Burns effect, you can do this here. I'm going to leave it on. Then select Done to lock in these changes. You will notice the duration has now in fact changed across all photos. Let's edit an individual image now. Tap on the clip and select Edit Photo. The first menu is the color grade. You can add a filter if you would like. The second option on this menu is the duration. If you manipulate this, it will now only affect this image and not the other ones. Next is the Add Text option, which we have looked at in another video on Splice. Check it out in the card above. And lastly, this layered block is where you can change the layout. This square at the bottom is your edit box. You can pinch on the image to shrink or grow the picture to the size that you want, as well as move it just by, by dragging and dropping. Now is the time that your background color will play its part. I can turn the Ken Burns effect off for this image here. If I preview the image now, it will remain static. If we turn Ken Burns back on, the menu adds a second image. These two blocks represent the start and end point of the image movement animation. Let's place the start on the side like this and the end on the opposite side and slightly larger. If we play this clip back now, you will see how it transitions over three seconds from the start to the end position. And that about wraps up how you can edit your photos and images in the Splice editing app to create a slideshow segment. Thanks William for asking this question via email. Check out more of our Splice videos or read our blog with all the information on this app right here. Subscribe for more video creation tips. In the next couple of videos, we'll be looking at all the ins and outs and do's and don'ts of YouTube as a video distribution platform. Thanks for watching. Cheers.